Series finale in Oxford at Swayze Field. First pitch, fastball, strike one at 93 miles an hour from Quinn to Gavin Dugas for LSU today with double-digit home runs. And he lifts it out into left field. That's a one-hopper in front of John Kramer. Dugas behind in the count, 0-2, ball out over the plate, and he drives it to left. So a full count coming to Trey Morgan, and he hits it on the ground. And that's just past the glove of Chatagne at second base. Dugas will go first to third. Second hit of the weekend for Trey Morgan, and LSU has runners at the corners. The 2-2 to Cruz. Ground ball up the middle base hit. There it is, a hitting machine, and LSU takes a 1-0 lead. Third straight game that the Tigers have scored in their opening at bat of the ball game. You see the patience there from Cruz. You can see him just recognize that big breaking ball right out of the hand. Full count pitch from JT Quinn. Gets a swing and a miss. At the breaking ball past Tommy White. Had a base hit on a full count. Swing and a miss. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for JT Quinn after three straight singles and a run to start the game. And then last weekend after losing game two. Performance from that lineup. Full count from Little. This is a base hit for Jacob Gonzalez. A leadoff single. That's the second baseman, Dugas. Set a good start for Ole Miss at the plate. All in two strikes to Groff, and he lines it the opposite way for a base hit. Waited back on it. Jacob Gonzalez going to try to go first to third, and he'll do so without a throw. And Ole Miss trying to answer LSU's run in the top of the first. 2-1 into the air to center field. Dylan Cruz going back. He'll settle shy of the warning track. Plenty deep to score the run. Throw comes to third base, but Groff is able to move up as well. We're tied at one on a sacrifice fly from Calvin Harris. Drives in his 30th of the year. The one, two. Into the air, shallow into the outfield. Dylan Cruz will squeeze it. Shakes off the first pitch, goes to the 0-2. That's a good shake off. It's a swing and a miss on the slider. It's fan base. And this ball hits sharply down the right field line. Alderman will pick it up in the corner. Actually got a really good carom. His throw to second base. Made that play closer than you thought it might be, but a one-out double. 2-1 Two pitch. This one is lined to second. Chatagne just off the dirt. An emphatic symbol from Alex Ransom, the second base umpire. But all in two strikes, and he gets a swing and a miss. That's the fifth strikeout of the game for JT Quinn. And he rips this one to right field. That ball stays fair and goes all the way into the corner. And Calarco will cruise into second base with a leadoff double, third hit of the game for Ole Miss. Field to third base. This ball hit out into right center field, a base knock. Calarco hits the bag at third. The throw will come back into second. An RBI single for Will Furness, and Ole Miss takes its first lead up 2-1. to one. Yeah, you see this cutter. He's trying to get the cutter in on the hands, and Furness does a really good job. See him just throw those hands down first base and keeps the barrel inside the ball, drives it right where the defense wasn't. He lines this one out into center, but Cruz coming on makes the catch. Probably the hardest play for a center fielder, the one that's hit right at you. A.T. Quinn, 50th pitch of the game. Gets a swing and a miss on that down. It probably comes down to what a specific team is looking for. Cruz out into shallow center field off the end of the bat, and that one drops in, and it's a two-for-two two day for Dylan Cruz. Back pick, and that was close at first base. Calvin Harris for me to say, but that's one of those where you're like, yeah, why don't you keep the spot Ooh. there? Close pitch there, Pearson, the 3-1. Down and in, bases loaded for LSU, 0-2. And now Jordan Thompson deposits one out into left field. Cruz comes home to score. Pearson trying to come around. Throw to the plate is in time, and Pearson is out. Second out of the inning. We're tied at two. That's an outfield assist for John Kramer on a perfect throw to the plate. See Quinn goes inside the fastball. Terrific job by Thompson. And Kramer, who is not the everyday left fielder for Ole Miss, comes up and throws an absolute rocket in to the home plate, you'll see perfectly thrown ball. Gets a nice one hop into Harris, who's in great position on the plate. No chance. Big out there. This ball hit on the ground past Gonzalez. 
And now that out at home is really big. Here comes another throw to the plate. This one up the first base line as Beloso comes around to score. And Jared Jones picks up his 38th RBI of the year to put LSU in front 3-2. to two. Yeah, Jones able to beat the shift there. Gonzalez was shaded in to the six hole. You'll see. You see Chotney over there hits it right where the shortstop would normally be. Unfortunate break for Ole Miss. Popped up on the infield. Quinn is calling for it himself. He makes the catch, and that ends the inning. Didn't quite develop into that. This ball lined out into center field. A base hit for Kemp Alderman. Third hit of the weekend for the Rebels outfielder, Kemp Alderman. Gets it on the ground to third. That's fielded by Pearson. Goes the short route to second base for the force. Some trouble with Notre Dame this weekend. This ball back up the middle, placed perfectly by Malazzo behind in the count, 0-2. 2-2. We're going to miss. Dugas goes down on strikes for the second time in the game. That is the seventh strikeout. That ball hits Trey Morgan on the hand. Did not like that last strike call. Same spot. He goes away looking. Strike three called. That's low, and Kramer draws the walk. Goes after the first pitch, pops it up to the shortstop. Actually, it's a little deeper than that. Trey Morgan was playing shallow in left field. Comes in, makes the catch. One, two. Beloso into the air to right. That ball carries, and it is gone. Solo home run for Cade Beloso. We're sure if it was going to get out. It was either going to hit the top of the wall or scoot over the wall. It scooted over the wall, and Cade Beloso with his seventh home run of the year and the second of the weekend. And LSU leads 4-2. to two. That was a career-high pitch, 101 for Quinn, and Beloso met it rudely, driving it out to right field. Gets a fastball on the inside part. You see how quick Beloso's hands are. Just drives that ball in the right center gap. And LSU leading 4-2. Good pitch there. Roth not able to hold up. Strike three called Kemp Alderman. It goes away looking. Tenth pitch of the at-bat coming right here. And Calvin Harris hits it out into right center field, and that ball will be cut off just shy of the warning track by Pearson. That is a leadoff double for the Rebels catcher. First hit of the weekend for Calvin Harris. Calarco a left-on-left -left matchup, and Calarco goes after the first pitch and rips it down into the right field corner. Calvin Harris will step on the bag at third and come around to score. It's an RBI double for Anthony Calarco, his second double of the ball game, and Ole Miss gets within one, down 4-3. Yeah, when you're a left-on-left -left matchup with the left-hander having a good 12-6 breaking ball, you don't wait around. You get a fastball early in the count, you take a rip at it. 2-2, elevated fastball, and he got Utermark to chase one up and out of the zone, a strikeout for Javen Coleman. That ball hits Kramer. And so the inning will stay alive for Ole Miss. In yesterday's ball game, and his only at bat of the weekend, and he goes after the first pitch, and he hits it out into left field. Something about that nine spot in the order, not allowed to see more than one pitch. Three in the game. He hits this one in the air to right field, and we have got a tie ball game. Second day in a row, Kemp Alderman's gone deep. That's number 17 of the year. It is now 4-4. Four to four. Coleman goes change up, gets half swing from Alderman. Terrific adjustment here. Watch him stay right on that fastball. Apo Taco tied up. Terrific job by Alderman. Just absolute remarkable power. Saw him hit one over the batter's eye to dead center yesterday. Takes one oppo here. A year ago, full count. Up and in, and Ole Miss gets a one-out walk. Good day at the plate for Calarco. He's been on base now three times. Plays all over the infield for them. This ball lifted to left field. Udermark! 
goes deep for the second time this year, and Ole Miss takes a 6-4 lead. The freshman from Charlotte, Judd Utermark, gives the Rebels an advantage in the bottom of the eighth. You go back 30 seconds before that pitch. They had a, a timeout with hitting coach Mike LeFan. Udemark missed fastballs on his previous AB, and he went hunting, and he got all of that one. It's a fastball right over the plate, gets his arms extended, and a monster home run for Ole Miss. Two run lead now, but. From Kemp Alderman in the seventh. That's a five pitch walk to John Kramer. This ball lined out into center field. That's a base hit. Garrett Wood makes a turn, but he'll stop at second base. Second hit of the game for Jacob Gonzalez. Gonzalez at first, and Groff goes after the first pitch. Hits it off the end of the bat out to left field. Trey Morgan waits on it to come down. He will squeeze it. He gave up all four runs. Popped up left side of the infield. Jacob Gonzalez. Back over where he normally would be playing, makes the catch, and there is one away. Gordon Thompson lifts it into the air to center field. Ethan Groff waits patiently for it to come down, moving to his left, and Ole Miss is one out away from its fourth SEC win. The 3-1 for Morrell. Down and in. <laughs> Just making sure. And he's hit by the pitch, and so the tying run is now on base, and the go-ahead run will come to the plate. It's tough for LSU, the one-two. Lifted down the left field line, and that ball is gone. A three-run home run, a pinch hit. Three-run home run for Hayden Travinsky, and LSU is back in front, seven to six. Travinsky absolutely destroyed this baseball and knew it right away. This thing just sitting on a tee for Travinsky right there, belt high, inside part of the plate, and he does a terrific job keeping it just inside the line. That ball was hit a ton at the left field. What a monster, monster pinch hit home run there for the Tigers. Up. Two easy outs to start the inning. Hopped up into shallow center field, an easy final out of the inning. Back. He lifts it the opposite way into shallow right field. And that's called for one out. Pearson makes the grab. Breakers in a row. This ball hammered fair down the right field line. That's going to be extra bases for Calvin Harris. He will cruise into second with a one out double. Fell behind in the count 0 and 2, worked it even. The 3 1. Leger hits it in the air to left field. Stevenson going back to the track, reaches up and makes the catch with his back against the wall for the second out of the inning. Ethan Leger about five feet from walking this one off. McCants pops it up, second base side. Nipolt waits on it to come down. He squeezes it, and LSU sweeps Ole Miss.